Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Today's story, I want you to think of two friends that you can share with because stories with friends are way more fun. So think of two friends and then your parents can text them the link to this episode and you can listen together. Well, today's story comes to us from Evan and Annabella. Hey guys, they sent me an idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to kidsshortstories.com. Send me your idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for today's story? Me too. Let's go. One day in a deep, deep rainforest lived Evan. Evan is the world's last triceratops. You see, most dinosaurs have disappeared over the years, right? Yeah, there's not many dinosaurs left. But Evan has somehow been, I think, one of the last dinosaurs. But he was feeling very alone. Can you imagine being the last dinosaur? Oh, man, that would be pretty lonely. And that is how Evan woke up this morning. Oh, another day. Another day of being the only dinosaur in the whole wide world. Huh. Nobody understands me. Triceratops are really cool creatures. Do you know how many horns a triceratops have? Yeah, they have three. They have two big ones kind of on their on the top of their head that go out, and then one little horn kind of near their nose. And all together, they have three of those horns. That's why they're called triceratops. Yeah, tri, that means three. So a three-horned dinosaur. It's a perfect name for Evan. As Evan got out of bed, he stretched his legs and was very sad. I don't have any friends that are like me. What am I ever going to do? Oh, hey, Evan, how are you doing today? It's a great day, right? Oh, hi, Sally. That was Sally. Sally was a jumping lemur that lived in Evan's neighborhood in the jungle. Well, I'm not doing that great today. I'm I'm just kind of sad that there's no more triceratops anymore. There's no more creatures that are like me with these three horns. And I just feel kind of lonely today. Wait a second, come to think of it, I I think I've heard of a legend. A legend of a creature with a horn on its head. Maybe it's, maybe it's another Triceratops. Wait, are you for real? Said Evan. You gotta tell me where this, where this creature is. Right now. Evan was, got really excited all of a sudden. And Sally the lemur started to think and think and think. Well, uh, uh, I, I think I, I think it's up that mountain. Yeah, it's totally up there. She pointed with her right hand up to the tallest mountain in the area. That was Mount Rocky. Mount Rocky was very rocky. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think that's a good name for a very rocky mountain, right? Mount Rocky was a very tall mountain with all these big cliffs and it was really hard to climb up. And who in the world would live up there? Are you serious? There's no way I can get up there, said Evan. Oh, but I I think there's a trail. Yes, there's a path. You gotta try, Evan. Maybe, maybe one of your family members is up there, said Sally. Um, okay, well... I guess I don't have anything else to do today. Guess I'm becoming a mountain climber. Evan started hiking towards Mount Rocky. And it was a pretty short hike, but as he entered the trail and looked up, Whoa, that is a big mountain. It was a big mountain, and it was going to be a long hike. And hopefully Sally has heard a legend that's true. Sometimes legends are true, and sometimes they're not true. But... That would be awesome if there was a creature, maybe a triceratops up there. She had heard stories of some creature with a horn on its head. And I can't think of any other creatures other than triceratops with horns on their heads, right? Well, Evan is going to be in for a big surprise when he gets up there. As Evan continued hiking up the trail, (gasps) This is 
This is harder than I thought. He finally rounded a corner. He had made it. Wait a second. I'm already to the top end. Where's the... Where's the other Triceratops? As he looked around, he realized that there was nobody else on top of that mountain. And he began to be very, very sad. (laughs) I'll never find anybody just like me. Evan was very sad. And all of a sudden, he heard a voice. Who's crying over there? Are you okay? Wait a second. Who is that? As Evan looked around, back and forth, all over the mountain, he didn't see anyone. And then all of a sudden... <gasps> hey there, can, can I help you? It was a unicorn. Dun, dun, dun. The legend was actually true. There was a creature with a horn on its head, but it was not a triceratops. It was a unicorn. Hi, my name is Annabella. What's your name? As Evan wiped off the tears off his face, he said, My name's Evan, and I've been looking for a creature uh, that I was told it looks like me, but you're not a triceratops. Nope. I'm a unicorn, but guess what? We both have horns on our head. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I guess I've never met another creature that has a horn on their head like me. That's that's kind of cool. Yeah, well, um, I was kind of looking for something to do. Do you want to go play? Uh, okie dokes. Let's go. And that is the day that Evan... Unfortunately, he was not able to find another Triceratops, but he made a new friend. A new friend that kind of looked like him, but not exactly. And I think they're going to be amazing new friends. Who would have ever imagined that a unicorn and a Triceratops would become friends? But I guess Evan and Annabella, they were just meant to be. They were meant to be good friends. All because Sally the lemur sent Evan on a mystery adventure with a... Very mystery ending. I never would have seen this coming. But I think Evan has found the new friend that he has been looking for his whole life. The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid. Shout out. I want to say hey to Nina and Declan from Downers Grove, Illinois. Max from Naperville, Illinois. Jordan from New Brunswick. Gavin from California. Towns from Charlotte, North Carolina. Alina and Estelle from Vancouver. And June Sue and Silas from Pittsburgh. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day. I'll see you next time. Bye.